This one seems to be coming along really well. I have eliminated all of that. I have a soldering kit on the way, so we're going to solder all this up nice and short, nice and neat, nice and clean. Found a place for my CDI box. I'll figure out how to mount it a little better, but if it fits, it sits. And then I found these in my shed, and there was this bent up, terrible, totaled out piece of back bracketry, which I took off. And mounted up these just using the original hardware. I took out the bolts that were there. So pretty simple, pretty basic. <clears throat> I still have the ignition here for now, which I don't think it'll be staying, but I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get those two screws out with that in the way. I may just have to lob that whole I might lob the whole thing off and relocate the key. Haven't decided yet. And then we're gonna get some knobbies for it. And we have a brand new carburetor. So these are getting hacked off because I keep catching it on the catch my leg on the kickstart. So I am gonna have some kind of crash protection. This is getting cut hacked off. And then I just need to find a place to mount my regulator. Which I want to hide it under here somewhere, but I don't know if it has to be it has to be bolted to ground or not i'm learning that i see it missing a bolt there so and that shock is welded right there huh. maybe the regulator can go there just mount it like that i don't know what else bolts right there and then these of course go to the seat and then these go to the seat so those have to be kept clear so that's where it's at right now. I do need to get, see how it's skipping. So I'm gonna have to tear that out, which is gonna get done anyway when I check out the variator, try to get some more, more speed out of it. It's coming along, it's a project. I'm learning a lot from it. I don't know really anything. I'll probably clean all this up and all that. And I'm not going overly, like too overboard because of the fact that it's just a parts bike but I'll have it running good and everything like that and then I'll find one that has a title and I'll switch everything over onto that maybe one with plastics maybe one without plastics I really don't care I don't I don't care what it looks like I'm not one I'm not trying to impress anybody two I'm gonna drop it a bunch of times and I'm gonna tear it up through the woods so the plastics would be basically just to protect me from tree branches but it is coming along I am getting quite a bit done and quite a bit learned uh, but until my uh, that's coming off of there um, until my soldering kit gets here I've never soldered before so that'll be another interesting thing to learn but I was looking at prices and they said I had an Amazon coupon which I don't know where the hell that came from so it got me a soldering kit and a bunch of the uh, ring terminals with heat shrink and connectors and everything a whole kit and everything for like two dollars and 68 cents i was like man i gotta get that so i'm gonna take an oil change just this is this is where it is i've shaved everything off of it trimmed it all up we're gonna basically have this for a wiring harness and it's gonna be tucked in pretty close we're gonna have the battery we'll probably reinforce this tray somehow and then build a, a foot rest, maybe even some foot pegs. <clears throat> maybe even make something like these work. I don't know. These were picked up for something else, but maybe we can make them work somehow. We can make something, but I don't know. Not sure how I'm gonna do somewhere to put my feet, <laughs> but. Uh, that's the progress on the on the scooter so far. I'm really liking these lights Those things are gonna be bright as hell